arm the aircraft by pushing the left stick to the bottom right and then push the left stick to above center to increase the altitude of the aircraft. You can see that here how the altitude increases. We're doing a bit of fast forward here at about 20 meters a second we flip the transition switch transition to fixed and the aircraft rapidly increases its speed transitioning to fixed wing. The onboard views you're about to see are shot with a simple unstabilized camera option of Sky Prowler 2. This is what it looks like Transition from the ground as wing. the aircraft flies away rapidly. Speed about 22 meters a second. Let's increase the cruise throttle now by a few percentage points. You could hear the motor throttle up there and the speed has increased to 31 meters a second now. Let's increase the throttle further. Fly left curve here by pushing the right stick to the left. And you can see the speed is up to 35.2 meters a second. That's 78.7 miles per hour or 126.7 kilometers per hour. The aircraft is really fast at this speed, much faster than these cars, and it's almost unpleasant even on this big field uh, to fly it because you constantly have to fly in curves uh, because you're hitting the boundaries all the time. A little bit of physics here. Friction is proportional to the square of the velocity, it means doubling the velocity requires four times the energy. It also means that we're covering the same distance half the time, which means we need eight times the, the power to fly twice as fast. So it's a cubic relationship between power and velocity. In our top speed tries here, we tr increase the power from 90 watts to around 290 watts, which is a factor of 3.22. The cube root of 3.22 is 1.48. The velocity increased from 23 to 35 meters a second roughly, which is a factor of 1.52. So the observed velocity factor is very close to the theoretical factor. Thank you for watching. Please like the video.